Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. Now guys, today I'm so super excited because this is another video in my How to Style Your Home series on my channel. Um, you guys know that I am making a very conscious effort to show you guys how to style your home seasonally on a budget. And so in this video, we'll be doing exactly that. And this time we will be styling our front yard. Yes, my front porch. Every year for fall, I like to decorate the front porch and our front yard um, with fall decor that's not Halloween. So I generally do not um, decorate or celebrate for Halloween, but we do like a fall harvest theme. And so, yes, that's what we'll be doing again this year. And I have a few new additions to add to uh, my outdoor decor. So I'm excited to share all of that with you guys. So also this video is in collaboration with Nicole North Garden of Nicole North Garden Home and Garden Channel. And Nicole is ho hosting this fall decorate and clean hop around the house. So in this video, and I've done this before with Nicole in the hop around series, and that is once you're done watching my video, you will check my description box down below for the next video to hop over to. And you'll do that for each video. You'll hop from one video to the next, to the next, to the next, until you've made it back to the person you started with. And in each video, each of us will be decorating a different space for our home for the fall season. Some of us will be cleaning, some of us will be decorating, or just one or the other, but I'm sure you'll get lots of ideas and inspiration. So be sure to check my description box below when you're done with my video, and also be sure to stop by Nicole's channel and let her know that I sent you over and say hello. If you're new here from Nicole's channel or from The Hop, then leave me a comment down below to let me know you're here, and I'm so happy that you are, and I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Alrighty guys, so now let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Okay guys, so here are some of the items that I'll be using outside on my front porch. I ordered these orange pillow covers from Amazon along with this um, fall sign banner. And I pulled out a pumpkin, a few pillows that I already have at home. I did buy a new little flag banner which is so super cute. I did get a new rug because mine was really dirty so I just trashed it and I have that fall sign that you guys saw me haul previously and then I pulled out a wreath and a bow topper and I did buy these solar wall lights because I'm going to give them a try on the front porch. So now guys, I'll take you on a quick little walk up to the front porch so you can see the flower garden. You guys know that we lost all of our plants in our winter storm this year. And so I'm just showing you how things have kind of filled in and how my bench took a beating. It looks horrible. <laughs> um, and Addison's been watering the plants up here. And of course, this is how the front porch is looking. And because things have been so dry, a lot of my plants have died back some or they're super dry so yeah this is everything how the porch is decorated for the summer and now it's time to bring on fall so guys I must say Addison was such a great little helper this day not only did he water all of the plants then he helped me put out all of the pumpkins and he wanted to select the location of each pumpkin normally guys that's something I do but this year he was like, I want to do it. So I thought, you know what, that's perfectly fine. You can certainly help. So not only did he decide where they would be, where they would go, he placed them himself and he did a fantastic job. So this is how the signs are looking so far. And I think it's so super cute. So, and I'll pan over here so you guys can see this side. So this is the rug that I picked up from Amazon. And I knew that it was gonna be long, but I didn't know it was gonna be this long. So it's too long for the front porch doorway. 
So I'm probably gonna just use it at the back porch. So luckily, I did also find this really cute rug from Ross for $7.99. And so I think it's going to fit perfectly right here at the door. And I'll show you guys, I've already put my little sign on the door and I think it's so, so cute. I, um, I kept the yellow wreath there already so that I can have a few little florals around the sign. And I think it looks really cute like that. And then I added in this bow in Buffalo check and a pumpkin ribbon just to add an extra pop to it. And I think it turned out adorable. Okay guys, so these pillow covers um, I ordered from Amazon and I have to say they are really nice quality. Um, these are indoor outdoor pillow covers so they are um, perfect for outside. The only problem is I ordered 18 by 18 and all of my outdoor pillows are 16 by 16. So unfortunately they're too big which makes me very sad because I really wanted to use them which I will, I'll just have to get some pillow inserts to fit this. So for now, I have to just move on with my project. And this is my new flag that I'll be putting out. I think it's adorable. I ordered it from Amazon also. I think it was only like $7, which is super cheap considering this is like um, canvas material and the sign is on both sides, which is nice because sometimes it's not like that. So this is a really nice one, it's really thick. So I was really happy to get this one and I think it's going to coordinate nicely with the um, mat here at the door. Okay guys, so it is the next morning and <clears throat> my husband has been out here mowing the lawn. And let me turn around here so you can see what I've done so far to the front porch. So, Last I showed you guys, I had the, the banners on the walls here. And I didn't have pillows for my pillow covers. So last night I did find some 18 by 18 pillows. So I did go ahead and use a couple of my orange pillow covers. And I think they're gonna be so cute. And I also, while I was digging around in my pillow closet, I found this one. And I remember this one from a couple of years ago. I had it in the house. So I was thinking it would be really, really cute on the porch like that. I also brought out my little garden gnomes. If you guys saw my recent home decor haul, you saw these featured there. And I got them from Ross on clearance for eight dollars each they have a little bit of damage but I'm gonna fix that by covering it with moss so I'll go ahead and work with these items and then we'll be back okay guys so now it's time for us to patch up the little gnomes you guys know they had a little bit of damage and I've already started working on them so I just wanted to show you quickly what I'll be using and how I'll do it so I'm using some Elmer school glue and some moss from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just um, smearing the glue over the cracked edges. And then I will just adhere some of the moss to it to cover that in. I'm using the school glue because um, hot glue would be too hot for me to deal with. Um, although I had to wait for the school glue to dry. But it didn't take too long. And it was quite messy. But we got the project done. And I think it turned out really, really cute. So here's a little gnome in its spot and you can see the moss looks super cute. It looks like that's how he's supposed to be. Here's the other one and he is adorable also sitting here in the garden. Okay guys, so you've seen me paint this planter before. I painted it red as you can see the red there and then um, last season I painted it white and you can see the white paint did not hold up at all and so this time I'm gonna give it another coat but of chalk paint and hopefully that will last 
and clearly you can see it's damaged <clears throat> but that's okay because it's just a decorative piece for the yard and I really really like it it has some sentimental value for me because it really reminds me of a bench my grandmother used to have in her yard and so I really want to keep it it was a um, a yard sale find I paid five dollars for it <laughs> Um, so I'm going to just add some chalk paint on it and see if that will freshen it up a bit so it will look cute at least from the street. So I'm using the Kills chalk paint. I picked this up from Walmart and I think it was about $12 for the can. Luckily I had it on hand already and so it was perfect timing for this project. So this was my first time using the Kills chalk paint and I have to say guys I was super impressed it was so easy to use it went on super smoothly and I think it gave a great coverage I did do two coats and I'm really happy with the results okay guys so here she is with a fresh coat of paint and I think she looks adorable I'm so happy with how it turned out obviously it's not perfect but that's okay with me because I am just happy that I don't see any red paint anymore and it doesn't look all chipped up. Um, the imperfections in the corners, I will camouflage that. But even if not, I, I think it's totally fine. So I'm really happy. And now she looks pretty in my garden again. <laughs> Okay guys, so I decided to move the scarecrow over here because I didn't like the way they looked over there on the fence line. It was just, they were just too far from everything and it just didn't make any sense to me. So hopefully they don't look too crowded here. I still have a lot of stuff pulled out. So once I clean everything up, then maybe it'll look nice. Okay guys, so I think this is gonna be cute. I have filled the bin with some of my fall florals that I usually put out in the yard. So for this, what I did was I just put a pillow in here. You guys can see the pillow down there to be able to just kind of stack the flowers in here so it, I wouldn't have to use as many to fill it in. And I think it looks really, really pretty. And I have the scarecrow behind it. I think that's cute. That one's falling over, so I'm gonna have to turn her around. And I think I'm gonna use zip ties or something to attach them to the bench so they won't fall over. I picked up this um, table cover from Walmart last year after season, and they had it marked down to $1. So you guys know I like to use things in unconventional ways. So I'm gonna use this table cover as a throw blanket to add to my display here and that will help camouflage some of the uh, damage on my bench. So this is how the tablecloth looks as a throw blanket on the bench. I think it's really, really cute and it's really tying the entire look together. And also while I was in Walmart, I did find this really cute little pumpkin patch pillow that ironically matches the rug at the front porch. So everything's definitely coming together nicely. Okay guys, and here's a view of the front yard all completed for this fall season. I have to say I'm really happy with how things came together. And I think the front yard looks really fall festive and super inviting. And I think it will be fun for children and adults alike. So guys, I also want to mention that many of the items that you see here are items that I already have in my decor collection. The items that I did show you all that were purchased totaled less than $50. So this was a really easy project to put together because I've been collecting my decor pieces for 10 to 15 years or more. So uh, if you're just getting started, then just know that you can make small investments each year towards items that will last you for years to come. So that's why I purchased those pumpkins from Hobby Lobby because those are items that I know I'll use year after year. Also, I will say guys, I'm really happy with how this Welcome Fall Y'all banner looks. I think it's really adorable and very eye-catching.
Also guys, yesterday I hosted my fall lantern collaboration for 2021. So if you want to see a detailed video on how I decorated those lanterns there, then click the i card above. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my front yard and front porch decor for fall 2021. So let me say, as I have on this wreath here, may blessings fall upon you like autumn leaves. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. And if so, please be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. Also, be sure to leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about my front yard pumpkin patch. <laughs> I love it. The kids love it and the neighbors love it as well. And it's always fun for us, um, you know, to get everything decorated out for the fall season. Also, guys, if you want to see exactly how I decorated my lanterns, then be sure to, to watch my video, which actually posted yesterday for my fall lantern collaboration. I will have that video linked in the i cards above here for you to check out. And of course, it will be in my description box down below in my fall 2021 playlist. If you ever want to see any of my videos, you can always check my description box because I do have them listed there by seasons. Alrighty guys, if you are my faithful family member, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And if you're new here, I hope that you will become one of my new family members. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.